Hey, I'm Nick Harrison with SucceedFreely.com. Today I'm going to show you how to load customized fonts into Adobe Illustrator. What's up everybody, Nick Harrison here with SucceedFreely.com, your motivational, inspirational, and lifestyle business blog. Today I'm going to show you how to load personalized or specialized or just crazy fonts that you might like into Adobe Illustrator. Um, this is minded that the fonts are not already preloaded into Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you want to do is get on Safari or your favorite internet browser and just search for fonts. Um, you could pretty much go to any font site that you'd like and download them, but I personally like to use DA font and you can go directly to dafont.com if you'd like. Find a font that you like. It could be any of them, and as you can see up here, there's tons of different categories and different fonts that you can choose from. For the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna choose this first one called Painter. Go over here to the right and click on Download. It'll download to your default location, which for me is my Downloads folder down here. Wait for that to get done. All right, now that the font is downloaded, you could actually just close Safari if you'd like, unless you plan on downloading more fonts. Open the font, and it's probably gonna be in a folder like this. You actually don't need that folder. You can just open the folder, and you wanna find the TTF file. Double click on it to open it. Click on install font. Wait for it to do its thing. It'll pop up like that. You can actually close your font book. Close out everything, open Adobe Illustrator, and just make a new file for the sake of the demonstration. Get some text in here. All right, and you can set this to your current font by going to the font selection. And you got to remember what the name of the font was, which mine was Painter. So there you can see it says Painter, personal use only. Um, that's just so you don't try to resell the font since you did get it for free. Click on that and it's in your font. You can do this for however many fonts you want, however many custom fonts you want. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, like and comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.